Hello everyone, my name is Mark and I wanted to show you a quick overview of AppDrag. This is a website builder I picked up from AppSumo. I'll put a link in the description below. At the moment it's on offer. You can get five websites for just under $70. And I have to say if you're into websites but like me you're not a coder, this is a really good offer. I've been playing with this all weekend. Now I'll show you a few of the sites that I'm having a little play with. So just in the back end, you can see these are the different projects. I've currently got three and I've been building a website for a friend and I've been having another website that I'm just having a little mess around with. So this back end is very easy. Simply click new page builder project. There's a load of different styles. So you can filter it down. If you want to do travel and tourism, if we go down health, sports styles and let's say you're, you're not sure if it's quite right because it's only a little uh, thumbnail that you can see here you can then say preview so before it gets built you can see the actual template have a little look at it scroll down as if it's a, a real website and obviously you can edit all these if that's not quite for you go back and let's have a little look what else there is so events let's say you're doing conferences and meetups so again do a preview and you just change all this content so there's a ton of different templates and of course each one is editable so if I just go on to one so this is a template that I've been messing around with uh, this is a website I'm building for a friend and there's a few really really nice features I want to show you all this is editable you can see as I'm moving around all these things are clickable so if I double click on that that's where I can edit the text I've got the menu I've got the logo but let's say this picture here wasn't quite right if I double click on it and say replace image you've got inbuilt a load of stock photos and icons so you can have your own assets if you want to upload some you can go and do a search across these sites so let's just say for example food and then you just click on any of these and they will be imported now it doesn't carry your search term over so you gotta search each site independently illustrations icons there's, there's loads of stuff, uh, videos as well. You can search all sorts and insert them. So once you've got it, let's say, okay, that's fine. But on this illustration, um, the person who I'm building this for is blonde rather than brunette. So if you want to give a different hair color, you can just go in like so. And you can change any of these colors here. So we can change uh, this one, different color pants. Um, different whatever that one is they are different top so you can customize each of the images in and the illustrations and the logos as well if you're using a logo so at the side you've got a very simple uh, setup so here's the pages create a new page add a menu link and you can add a blog and a shop I'll come on to the shop in a second if you don't want to see any of these you simply click the little line you see straight away it takes it out if you've used Wix this is very similar to Wix You've got a ton of components. So in each section, you can have elements, image elements, logos, maps, media, or you can actually build entire sections. So they've got a load of sections. You simply drag them on. So let's uh, drag that section there. There you go. And again, if I double click on that one, I can replace the image. I can replace the text. I can change the font. You can go in and you can double click on the button and say where you want it to go. Uh, there's there's tons of options. I'm absolutely loving how flexible this is and how easy it is to use for someone who's never really been a website person. So I'm just going to hop over to a different site I've just been messing around with. So I wanted to just test out editing a template. So this was originally uh, for diamond rings, I think it was, and I've been editing it as if I'm going to be building a candle store because I wanted to try out the candle shop. So I went in and changed all the little icons. And the interesting thing I want to show you here is actually the shop system. If I open the shop manager, uh, now there's no data in here because this isn't live, but it's a very simple to use system. If I uh, click down the side, you see you've got the dashboard, which just gives you that top view with the stats, orders, I haven't got any. Products is where you manage the products. Simply go in, title, description, images, so you can have multiple images, pricing, original price if you want discounts, the SKU codes, barcodes, weights it's got everything you need here to run a successful shop you can categorize them into different categories and then add the various products and you can have a so here let's just go in and say right let's have that as a 
category picture. Click save and it saves it. Customers, I don't have any customers, but this is where you would get your customer information from. And if you want to generate your discount codes, you can do that as well. That's all built in. So it's very powerful, um, got a lot of very powerful features in a very simple to use manner. Now, what's interesting about the offering is that this, for example, I could build this. And if I decided that I was going to be a, a website reseller, I could actually give the customer access to manage their own shop. So under the white label configuration, you can upload your logo and uh, you've got a URL. You can white label this to be your own URL. I can't do that at the moment because I have my URL registered with another provider, but if you buy it through AppDrag, you can uh, then set this up fully white labeled. You've got your business name, uh, support email address, from email address, you've got the colors that you want to use. That's about it. Unfortunately, you can't edit the emails that customers get at the moment. Maybe that will come, but they'll get an email telling them they've been invited to log into their project. So this is the white label dashboard that they would receive. You can see at the top there, it just says edit my web dot site. That could be your own uh, white labeled um, URL if you get that set up correctly. The customer will be sent a verification code just to make sure that it is them trying to access their website. Once they log in with the correct email address, password and verification code. You can see they can see the website and they get a very similar overview. They get the page views, they get the stats, so they can see all the stats, but you can actually restrict what they do. So they can go into page builder and they can edit the website. So there's my logo again. It's all branded as if this is my platform. So I can go into the shop that I just showed you. I can open shop manager and manage it, but you can see actually that there's a restricted menu down the side. So if I swap to the, my version of the dashboard, you can see I can see all the projects and I've got a lot more options related to what we can do. So I can forms, invoices, configurations. So you can actually edit the shares on this by going in and you can give access. They can be an admin, they can publish, they can do backend stuff, but I've restricted this to only a few key items that I want the client, in this case me, to be able to do. For those who are building a website and don't have a domain, you can buy a domain directly from in here. So let's just say this was home candle makers, I don't know. And you can then also select the type, whether it's a .com or you might want .co.uk. The prices are a little high for .co.uk. One thing I would point out though is if you buy this on here, it's then all handled by AppDrag and you get the SSL certificate all set up as well. So this is the website that I've built. This is the most complete one I've, I've been working on so far. And you can see it's got sliders, contact us. All these graphics were inbuilt, found them very easily. And I've just basically replaced a lot of the content that was in the template with my own. The one thing I'm struggling to get working at the moment is the little cookie pop-up at the bottom. You're supposed to be able to add a code. There's nothing built in. You have to use a, an external website to generate a code that goes on the bottom. You can see it's showing at the top, which isn't really what I want. But overall, I have to say that I'm really impressed with this. You go to the top and just like you would on something like Wix or I guess Squarespace, you can have a little look at it on different formats. So it even, you can see at the top there, it's got a different menu structure. So there it's showing my logo. Whereas on the mobile version, it's got a little hamburger menu. Just very quickly, a couple of other final points. You can see in the background, we've got this cool little effect going on. That's because there's a few plugins that are available. This one happens to be the particles plugin, but you can see there's various others and you simply like the elements. Actually, you simply click the more info button, add to site, pick the one you're interested in and drag it on. So there's only a few at the moment. Hopefully over time that will expand. For those wondering about SEO, it's got an inbuilt SEO checker and it allows you to adjust your titles, descriptions, add the images, and you can check out uh, what it looks like. And it gives you uh, keywords and whether they're in the title description and heading. So a really nice, simple system. I thought that was pretty cool. The blog section, so I've just had a little go at this. So again, you get a nice little overview of stats showing you. Now, obviously I've only done <laughs> I've only done one today, just this morning and published it. So it's not really gained much traction, but if you say all posts, you can click on it, have a little look. You've got the title, description, 
who it's by, you can categorize, tag it, you've got the content, you can add your own images, and of course you can make use of the stock images um, that I showed you earlier. If I simply click on that and say upload, then you get back to this screen where you can search for images, icons, uh, or you can use external links. For those of you who are a little bit more knowledgeable than me, um, which will be most people who can do websites, there is a code editor. I don't really touch this at all because this just isn't my bag, this isn't what I do. But it's there if you want to get stuck in, you've got all the files down the side and you can edit them. It's also got a live preview on this side. What I quite like about this is when I stretch this out, it changes between the mobile to the desktop, which I think is a pretty cool feature. So that's it for my little overview. I hope you found it useful. I will put a link to the AppSumo deal in the description below, and I'll also put a link to this website, indigo.co.uk. So if you want to go and check that out and let me know what you think. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing some website design for people and maybe a bit of video editing. So feel free to get in touch if you've got any requirements. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you on my next review.